You guys hear all that? Those freaking birds out there, man. They're so loud. Okay, today is the weekend before the Pan America Superbike round at Roebling. And what I'm gonna show you, you have to adjust a suitor clutch between every single round. And that's not really a bad thing, it's just something you have to do if you have a suitor clutch. So let's get right into how to adjust a suitor clutch. Okay, so now one reason why I really, really, really like a suitor clutch is because it is extremely smooth. Now, of course they, in order to be very smooth, all right, they also have to make it very precisely assembled, which is why you have to make this adjustment pretty much every race weekend, okay? Now, if we were World Superbike, Moto2, Moto3, you know, somewhere like this, they'd be doing this pretty much after every session because 30 laps, which is what I've measured so far after one race weekend, this will be my second time measuring and I'll tell you more about that later. 30 laps is a race, you know, it's like, one outing lap in a race, you know, for Moto2. Uh, obviously, as a club racer, I'm not doing 30 laps in a race. You have to make this adjustment. And the adjustments aren't that bad, okay? Now, you're thinking, oh my gosh, I have to repack my clutch, I have to buy an entire new clutch every single time. No, you don't. What you need to do is just simply swap out steels, okay? Now, the steels themselves, I'm just talking about these guys, okay? so. It's, it's just a metal part that has a measurement, all right? These don't really wear out. I mean, they do, it takes a very long time. They don't wear out in a race weekend. They probably, this steel, if I, it'll probably last me as long as I'll keep this bike, okay? So, give you an idea. Um, now, I do have extras of these. I did go out and I bought uh, the, an entirely new clutch pack because you should do that anyway, the frictions. You should buy an entire new friction set and then I purchased extra steels with different measurements. Now, Kawasaki does this already. They have 2.6 millimeter, 2.3 millimeter. I don't know about the other brands, Yamaha, Suzuki, all of them, I, I have no idea. Uh, Kawasaki does this. So for Kawasaki, a suitor clutch is pretty good. Another reason why I like suitor is because you can adjust the slip, okay? A lot of these other clutches, Yo-Yo Dine, EVR, you know, these type of things, you can adjust the slip in different ways and maybe they allow for more um, user-friendly adjustment with the clutch pack meaning that you can just install a clutch pack at the beginning of the season and run it because it'll self adjust to the thickness of the clutch pack Suter doesn't do that because they want to be more precise with the actual feel of the slipper clutch and i could tell that because after the first time of using it i use this uh, conical spring this is the adjustment spring for the actual feel of a slipper clutch, and I use this 950 Newton. I hope I said that right. Um, you know, spring, that's the weight of the spring at CMP. And the stopping power or the stopping ability of the, the rear tire when it's connected through the slipper clutch, you know, and all this type of thing, uh, wasn't very good. It was locking up and slipping as I was going into corners, just wiggling around. It's not really a big deal if you don't mind that, but it was taking power away from, from braking. And I'm a big guy. I need all the traction I can get stopping me. Okay, I'm, I'm 258 pounds, <laughs> all right? That was my last weight at, uh, at, at Road Atlanta this last time out. So I need to have as much tire contact slowing me down as possible, okay? I'm not using the rear brake at the moment because I haven't trained myself to do that. So I'm really relying on what the slipper clutch can do. So that means that I had to remove this 950 and put in the lowest one that they gave me, which was a 750. And they also gave me one in between, which is the 850, okay? So putting in the 750 at Road Atlanta, where you do a lot of heavy braking in a couple different spots, uh, really helped out. Like I could tell the bike was slowing down. In fact, it got to the point with my braking markers that if I did not get to second gear into turn 10A, I would actually run wide because the rear of the bike was helping me turn. It was actually pulling the bike down and actually changing the geometry and letting me make the turn. If I didn't have that uh, gear engaged during the the you know braking sequence of 10a be hard to make that corner so stuff like this really starts to matter when you get very specific in how you enter corners and it's, can you ride around it absolutely okay like i if i had a rear brake uh understanding i probably could have grabbed the rear brake and actually made the corner a little better uh if i had not gotten to second gear but in any case it forced me to remember to get to second gear the couple times that i missed it so 
Anyway, uh, that's the adjustment on the clutch. Uh, we're not making that adjustment this time. We're just simply measuring the clutch pack and then making it to the correct thickness, hopefully to about as max as we can get it and reinstalling it so that we can be ready for Roebling. Now, Roebling doesn't have a lot of braking, doesn't have a lot of like downshifting, which is what wears a clutch out. There might be a chance that when I measure this after Roebling, we don't even make an adjustment for the next round at Roebling. Anyway. Okay guys, so one thing with the Suter clutch is that it has a very specific clutch pack stack height, okay? Now the clutch pack, when they mean that, they're talking about all the frictions and steels. That is the entire clutch pack right there. And the stack height is the total measurement end to end. What I've got to do here is make sure that that thickness is plus or minus 0.4, 39.6 millimeters, okay? So they want the middle number to be 39.6 millimeters with a plus 0.4, which makes it 40 mil, or a minus 0.4, which makes it 39.2. Now, last time I was at CMP, I had it set at 40 millimeters. That number went down to 39.3, okay? So CMP weekend, we're talking about 30, 40 laps total. It went down that much. Now. I went to Road Atlanta and I had a practice day with three sessions and I had a race day with five sessions, three of those being races. Let's see what the number is. Uh, yes, best dad, because the mug says so. So what we're going to do now, making sure that there's no like kind of air pockets of oil, if you will, make sure it's all packed together like that. And you just need a set of calipers. An astute viewer will notice that these are in inches. Heh, <laughs> means we have to do some conversion. So let us get in a measurement first off. All right, what is it? Measure twice, cut once. What do we got here? 1.967. Okay, we're gonna go with the lower measurement, 1.967. And what is that in metric? 1.567, which is what I meant to say. 39.8. <laughs> Okay, so we're within the range still, which is interesting. Let's remeasure that just to make sure because I'm not super duper comfortable with just guessing at this. 1.5 and you can see it if I can get close enough. Um, so you got the big number there, the big one, and then it goes five, we're not quite to the six. And then this dial will tell us where we wanna be. We'll call it 1.566, right? 1.566, well, 1.567, 66, about the same. Yeah, 1.565. Yeah, we're, we're basically getting right about that same number, so. All right, what does this mean, 1.565? That gives us 39, we'll go to five just to make sure. 39.75, right? 39.75 millimeter. That's about three mils away from max, which, or 0.3 mils away from max, which I can actually adjust out. If I can get these guys here, these are all the different sizes from Kawasaki. See that right there, clutch plate. 2.0, right? Let's see if I can find one that says it's uh, a different one than that, because that would just be cool. Yep, here we go, clutch plate 2.3, right? And this one should be 2.6, there it is, clutch plate 2.6. So you got all these, this is an old one that I actually took out the last time to get a right measurement. Let's find one of the older plates, because I found one in here when I was doing my inspection. I think that's it. It's got some grooving kind of, yeah, there it is. All right, so knowing where it is in the stack and making sure that I've got everything opened up to uh, identify this. You see all that grooving right there? That kind of circular thing, I don't like that, all right? I'm gonna replace this one with the 2.6 that's good still. So I'll have good clutches, or good steel, excuse me. Another thing, if you're really actually paying attention, you'll notice something about this clutch plate, this steel, is that it's got these little kind of like, it's got these like little kind of dimply things on it, right? And the other one, you'll notice, does not, it's just clean, it's just smooth. So that's something they did on the 2013 or 2019 clutches. Um, so anyway, I like these better than these. So if you have a bunch of these and you wanna get maybe better ones or ones that have for a little bit more friction or just a little better design, if you get one for a new, new bike, like 2019 up, you're gonna have the right one. So um, you know how they say they got the rolled edge and the sharp edge? Well, there's a the sharp edge. Now I put them in sharp edge toward the bike. I do them all the same way. Maybe that's right or wrong. Somebody will correct me. If you think that's a problem, comment below, let me know. So we took out a thin steel, a 2.3, and we put in a 2.6. Now that should give us a thicker measurement, right? Cause it's thicker. Look at that, and it is. 1.575, turn it about a third of the way around. 
1.575, another third, 1.575. Okay, 1.575, ta-da, look at that. 40 millimeters on the nose, okay? That's how you adjust a Suter slipper clutch pack in a 2007 up Kawasaki ZX6. Okay, so there you have it. That is a Suter clutch adjustment between rounds. Up next is Roblin Road with Pan America Superbike. Cannot wait, so excited, haven't been there. Freshly repaved. Here it comes guys, get ready for it.